there's just something about this room I don't like. We've only just come in. Let's flick the lights on. Ooh, duh, 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 duh. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, assuming this is... Uh, well, I'm, that'd be very sexist to me to assume, but I would assume that this is our dad's study. Um, I mean, there is a, a, you know, electronic typewriter, is this? I didn't even know those were a thing. Uh, let's read this straight off. Okay, it's a review for the Pioneer thingy-majiggy that I suppose was in the box in the living room just now. They say the jack of all blah blah blah, I don't think that's particularly relevant. Uh, pause the video and give it a read if you particularly want to. I'm not going to read it out. You can do better. What if JFK wasn't JFK? Okay, these are uh, book ideas, I suppose. Back to basics, sent back in time to Dallas, 963. State of emergency in Dallas. Paradox results in JFK death being desired outcome. He's obsessed. Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese. Don't you need what are these, etc, etc. <laughs> JFK. He's obsessed with JFK and time travel. There were some books on like paradoxes and time travel and stuff, weren't there? Mm. Ooh, crumpled up paper. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them. The stars. Perfect timing. Twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No, he blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. <laughs> what the Christ is this? <laughs> Our father's rubbish. John Russell's head swam, he found blah blah blah, master matter transference operator. Then he passed out. John Russell across the- what is his obsession with John Russell being in space? Our dad is rubbish. Um, we are lagging pretty fierce right now. Um, pretty fierce actually. Was it always like this? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I don't have a better computer. I'm sure it looks okay enough on the, uh, on the video. We can't open this. It's got files inside it and we can't open it. I swear I just saw like question mark. Oh snap, what is this? What? It's a big panel. Did this come out of it? Was this always there? I don't know. Oh snap, this is from our current address to our old address. Oh, what is this? God almighty, and the longest letter in the world from before I had terrible hammering enough. Uh, August 10th, 1972. Dear Terence, I write on what I hope and imagine is a joyous occasion. News reaches me that you are newly married to a wonderful young woman. Oh, this is actually easier than I thought. I have had more than a little time to consider my past and my family and my thoughts have often lingered on your oh, development and welfare in the 10 years since we last met. Your marriage gives me much reassurance in this regard. You are always welcome on Arbor Hill something. I will un understand what if you feel you cannot probably accept this invitation. Yours very sincerely, Oscar. The crazy, uh, is he the crazy uncle though? Because our little sister was the one being teased for having a crazy uncle. But this would be uh, our dad's uncle, who seems to have been the crazy one. I suppose uncle and great uncle, nobody really cares about the difference. Um, nothing in there, let's close it again. I don't like that wood panel just being on the floor like that, but uh, I also don't imagine I can slot it back in place. What is, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa there, whoa. Can I not pick this up and, oh, it's just a big pad of paper. Sure, nothing in there either. There's nothing in any of these cupboards. Have we found anything in a cupboard yet? Uh, I don't think so. Right, pens and stuff is fine. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, what have we got here? Bookshelf. Is one of these books going to open up like a secret, <laughs> secret door? Don't imagine so. Oh, snap, there's something up there. It's a bottle of whiskey. Some delicious Irish whiskey. From 1911. Oh, established 1911. Wow. Uh, so our dad drank whiskey. Wow, a writer who drinks whiskey. Kel Surprise. 
Uh, oh, look, an empty cupboard. Another telephone directory. What is with all these? Electrical inspection form. Terence Greenbar at the new house. Uh, it's fine. Unclear. Wiring in house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last 100 years. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames stopped. Circuited wires directly behind the surface. Properly working electrical system will highly disrupt the walls form fixed to the structure. After discussion with screen bar. Since there are no current safety conditions, it will not be addressed. That's weird. So there's just piles upon piles of wires that are causing all the lights to blink. Turn the fan on. That is not a sound that I need in my life added to all the others right now. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, that's the thunder. I thought that was the fan. Oh no, it carries on. How does this one room carry on? Alright, oh, we forgot about a... Uh... Oh, what's this? A book. Benjamin Almond, The Killing of JFK, A Theory. So he just wants to rip off this book. Always using it for inspiration for his pre-existing obsession with JFK. Um, oh no, we had to be paying attention to things, did we? <laughs> I've no idea. 19, 1968 was a date written on the written on the wall over there. Um, no. Uh, when was my birthday? Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. When's my birthday? Uh, birth year, of course. I mean, 73. Let's try 73. Ends combination 19. Can I type in these? Yes, I can. 1973. Oh, he doesn't love me. <laughs> that's terrible. Uh, I swear, I was 60. I was 63 was the one on the board. Uh, let's try 1963. Let's see if he loves the JFK assassination more than he loves me. No, nope. doesn't love JFK's death either. Oh man, I want to get in there. That's going to bug me. Uh, I don't think you want to watch me crawl back over this entire house trying to find the combination. Why don't I leave it up to you? If, you, if you've watched the videos up till now, if you've noticed uh, a four-digit, any kind of four-digit thing like a date or, uh, you know, I don't know what other four-digit things there are, or a code quite conspicuously written somewhere. I suppose 1972 seems to be uh, an important enough date. Uh, sounds like it was the date he got married. 1972? No. What on earth date? Oh, I suppose it might not even be a date. He might have just been very careful enough not to uh, put such obvious things as his code. Let's go in here then. What is this even? A st uh, I forgot. I Yeah. I totally forgot that we're in like a giant mansion. Um, so yeah, there's going to be, you know, studies upon, libraries upon, whatever else. There is something behind it. Oh god, no, it's the wallpaper. Man, I thought we found the secret room at last. Uh, I don't like how not light places are around here. Back to the loudest weather in the world by the window. Fantastic. Uh, shelves look clear to me. Uh, oh my god, is there going to be something inside this cupboard? <gasps> Take the lid off. What are these? Dad's second book. Oh, he did. He did end up. Was his first book a... Uh... <laughs> uh, his first book was a JFK one as well now, thinking about it, wasn't it? What is this? Gosh, Dad. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> we found our dad's secret stash. Moscow by night. Drugs, prostitutes, and the mafia. Ladies in the ring, the women of wrestling. I know someone is going to be enjoying that one. Naming no names. Uh, this is from 89. Jesus, Dad. Uh, all right, we don't need to look at her again. Just some copies of his book and uh, whatever else. Don't need any more of that. Uh, let's leave his books lying around on the floor. Let's get Bob to clean up. Um... Okay, now that, now that's a secret room. There is a plant pot behind there. Oh, snap, there's finally a secret room. I totally called it. Oh, so if anyone uh, notices a four-digit code, please put it in the comments, and I'll try and see if it works. <laughs> For God's sake. Okay, 0451. 
<laughs> letter, 94. Dear Terence, David asked me to write you... I'm American English. David asked me to write you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word in it, so job stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theatre Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter, I'd just be cutting it loose. There's tons of guys half your age who wouldn't take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note, thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews out again, then everyone will be happy. By the editor of Home Theatre Aficionado magazine. Hmm, okay, so we were in trouble with our boss. 0451 is the combination then. For the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh. Now look, see, if we look through this gap, it's wallpaper. This gap is not wallpaper. This gap is a plant pot. There's a goddamn secret entrance. Um... Mm, da, 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 da. Okay, well, let's go and uh, let's check out the combination because maybe, maybe it has something to do with something that's inside of here. Uh, zero, four, five, one. Open sesame document, Mr. Mason. Oh snap! This is the, uh, this is the uh, the crazy uncle. Please find enclosed your original document and typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Blah blah blah. He wrote a lawyer. Wrote to a lawyer. Ha ha ha. Will and testament. Oh wow, this is will. Okay. Uh, I'm going to skim it because uh, I'm not reading an entire will. Married, no children. Always lived in this place. Uh, da, 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 no debts. He gave absolutely everything to our dad, Terence. Um, and if our dad would have died, it all came to us. Uh, and he signed it. Oh snap! All oh, right, that was a typed-out copy of this. Okay. Uh, sure. I mean, well, fair enough. Is this going to be a reasoning for something? Reasoning for disappearances? And he was long dead, though. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we did it. Uh -uh. Have we like gotten rid of our family because we were the next in line to get? Uncle Asker's millions. I don't know. Jeez, another one of those ugly coasters. A pen. Another tissue box. What was it called again? Soft face. Fantastic. And fresh magazine. I was a teenage drag queen. <laughs> what? Uh, CSB's going to cut that out. I know. And use it. God damn it. The accidental, the occasional, a year on the mountain, the accidental profit. Oh, okay, so Dube was thinking up names for his. Uh, for his book. Is that just a plug? Yeah, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. I've got to get in here now. I'm going to be obsessing over this. One of these books is going to be a secret, you know, <laughs> pull it forwards and... Okay, the floorboards totally just creaked. Oh wait, there's something over here we missed. Another children's book? Stranger Under My Roof. The number one best-selling advice for parents. Of teens. Okay. I suppose we were having trouble with our kids. Uh, not me. I think I'm 22 or 21, whatever. So I guess it was the little, the little one we're having trouble with. Oh god! I just want, I just want to get in. I think, I think it's this, this one that comes away. This one or this one comes away. I'm pretty sure, or both. So. uh look for something. This has got to be the most interesting part so far. Me just scanning rows of books. Uh, it's got to be done. Some, you know, this thunder sometimes sounds like people falling around upstairs. Wouldn't that be amazing if just all, our family was just all upstairs after all this? <laughs> I'm only going by this synopsis that said, you know, that explains that there's a disappearances involved, but so this straight up light. Oh snap. Oh yeah, but now we look at it. What is going on? Is this just a glitch and there isn't actually a way through? Because if I look at an up angle, that is just a regular wall. And then pitch down. 
Why is he a plant? <laughs> maybe it's a glitch. Maybe it's a glitch. Maybe there isn't actually a way through here. Uh, well, I can't see any obvious, you know, any obvious way in. Not the lamp. Uh, forget it then. Let's go to another room. <laughs> Let's go to another room. Um, I keep expecting to double back and seeing just a monster or or something. Uh, okay, so there's a will involved. That's what we've learned. That's the best thing we've learned from this room, I think, is that uh, there's a will. Uh, that was from the previous episode, of course, learning all about our little sister. All right, what's going on here then? Bunch of coupons for 25 cents off garbage. Fantastic. Pacific. What? I said something else for a second. Okay, Pacific Northwest Conservation Department. Uh, something to do with our mum's job. Maybe we learn about the mum now. Oh, another fantastically dark room. That's great. Oh, let's just turn all the lights on first. All the lights on. Why can't I turn that light on? It's broken. Suss out the room. Make sure there's no monsters. Okay. I think we're safe. Right. Um, they look like journal. Oh, are they uh, records? Yes, it was a record player. No. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, that scratch was too scary. Man, if I hear that at any point from now on, I'm going to absolutely S my P. Oh, we've got an assignment here. Reproductive system worksheet. Uh, Sam doing her homework. About oh my, what is this? Don't read this. It's smart. Oh my god! I'm not reading this out. Pause the video now and uh, and read this at your own leisure. I'm not even gonna. I'm gonna scan it. Oh god. See me? Yeah, right. Christ. Okay, everyone have fun reading that. I'm not reading it out. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, can open the record cabinet there. So, uh, that's weird that Sam was hanging out in a bar. The sort of barn record room of the house. Uh, the shot glasses on the floor. Uh, and vodka just left out on the top. I hope this wasn't Sam getting drunk and writing stories about, uh, about the menstrual cycle. Some more whiskey there. Dad's book. And a letter. Mercury Books will be unable to publish a follow-up to the accidental prior, despite the low sales. We went ahead with the publisher's second book. I hope to join us catching on over the suit for love. But okay, so our who's John Russell? Oh, the 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 protagonist of our stories. Okay, so his second book got cut by the publisher for uh, for not selling well enough, and our first book apparently didn't sell very well either. Uh, and he keeps those memories locked in his bar. So I guess this is again our dad's room more than anything else. Although Sam... Sam was hanging out here writing her homework. Fair enough. Uh, anything in the cabinets? The cabinet was left ajar. Uh, it wasn't me who did it. It's a bit weird. Mm, fair enough. I suppose it's just a lived-in house. Another fantastically dark room. I can't even see... Oh, it's a closet. Okay, so middle light. There we go. Uh, more just piles of his books that didn't sell. If, uh, if Alan Partridge's story is anything to be believed, I thought they get pulped rather than just sent back in their droves to the uh, to the author. Who knows? I've got a letter. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighbourhood very much. Danny asked if he could let Samantha... Lend Samantha's Nintendo Street Fighting tape, and I gave him my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. No hurry. Returning it. Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house to visit. Anytime. Okay, so that's Danny from the phone who, uh... No, he wasn't from the phone. Place your whole life. Let her tell the story. Your next-door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. What awful person Samantha is. Using this poor boy for his, uh, 
Whereas Nintendo tapes, <laughs> as they were called. Uh, oh, we didn't check the upper shelves in this closet. Somebody, I think it was Brett, by the way, mentioned how freaky... Or was it... It might have been Grunty. I'm so sorry, I forgot. Mentioned how creepy it is. That all, that the closet doors open both ways, but it's actually every single door in this game seems to open both forwards and backwards, which which is, yeah, a bigger sign as any that there's some weird hauntings going on here. Um, this looks like it might be the end of downstairs, or at least as far as the downstairs that we can currently see. Yeah, this will be the last room since this door's locked uh, and we have a key that we can't use on it for some reason. Oh yeah, let's roll the dice. Well, that wasn't a roll. How did you just throw a dice perfectly onto the floor? <laughs> a seven! Fantastic, we won something. More coupons. Ridiculous. Another tissue box! Who's got the problem in this house that they need tissues just every five meters? <laughs> I don't even know what kind of problem that would be. Nosebleeds? Maybe Sam's so in love with her girlfriend that she just gets around nosebleeds all the time just thinking about her. <laughs> Like some kind of anime. Uh, pens in the drawers. Uh, I'm sorry I was throwing everything around there, by the way. I'm trying to keep a neat house, but... Oh, here we go. There's a note. Hi, Lonnie. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. You can drive? I guess uh, Sam's older than... Do we ever get an age for Sam? I don't think we did. She's at least 16 then. Kind of far, but I can drive to your home, so hopefully that's fine right back. Uh, we can meet in the parking lot. Yeah, I'm totally in. See you there. I'm going to ready to kick your, kick your butt. Uh, and a nice little hadouken. and I guess they were going to play Street Fighter together. So, so Samantha took the Nintendo game from Danny to play with Lonnie, her girlfriend. So you know what they say about the best laid plans of mice and men? Hmm. Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter too. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but... All that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, oh my God. I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. Aww. She's coming over tomorrow. That's so sweet, but totally ruined by me flashing this ridiculously ominous note up on the screen in the meantime. Holy God. <laughs> Katie, please, whatever you found, don't tell Mum and Dad. Now, the problem I have that I was thinking about and not listening to um, Sam's story just now was that uh, how the hell long ago was this written? Because we just came home after a year. And this is still in the creaking doors. God damn, that's scary. This is still in the bin. Um, a letter that was addressed to Katie, me, by Sam, because it says mum and dad, that's in the bin in the hallway. So we must have been here already. Oh god, this door's locked too. The, oh god, it goes to the basement as well. I don't even want to know, and we can't use this key at all. Wow, okay. So I think they they must have disappeared like right after we left, because uh, well that's all I can really infer from the state of this house right now is that they left right after me, and because uh, there's just stuff lying around that should really have been moved in the meantime. Let's take another look at uh, Lonnie here. I think she has something to do with it. She plays a very big role in this, I reckon. She wanted to see the psycho house. There's something there's something strange about her. It's her and Danny and uh, Sam, I think, that have caused whatever troubles are going on. But that is pure speculation. And, uh, wow. I suppose all that's left now <laughs> is to go up these stairs. <sighs> okay, let's go. 